Cindy Nelson is diabetic, but knew for years something was wrong with her stomach because no matter what she ate, she had a lot of bloating. When I say bloating, I don't mean just like you have a Thanksgiving dinner and you're just a little bit bloated. I mean, my midriff is usually like twice or three times the size when I eat something. Even if it's just an apple, I bloat really bad. Cindy consulted Mercy Medical Center gastroenterologist Richard Desi, who diagnosed her with gastroparesis, a disorder where food in the stomach takes longer than the normal 30 minutes to four hours to empty into the small intestine. A normal human stomach can hold anywhere between two to four liters of, of contents, food, liquid, um, at, at any given time. Now, patients with gastroparesis can have uh, orders of eight hours, ten hours, of where food can sit in their stomach for a long period of time. And there are several causes. Uh, medications can cause slow emptying of the stomach. Viral, like if you get a viral gastroenteritis, that can cause a temporary gastroparesis. Sometimes it can be a little prolonged, but some patients can get that. Uh, there are conditions where we just don't know. Some people just have a poor motility of the stomach. We certainly see that without a clearly defined um, cause for it. But diabetes, uh, by and far, is definitely the most common cause, reason for that. And Dr. Desi says the usual treatment for gastroparesis is diet. Smaller frequent meals, more liquids, and low-fat foods, also medication. But in severe cases, a stomach pacemaker can be inserted to increase the stomach's contractions and another treatment that may surprise you, Botox. So how did the, how did the Botox right work? Right afterwards, it was fine. What you're going to try to do is we, we do is inject the Botox uh, in here, relaxes that muscle, opens this up. You're trying to use gravity to try to help freely enter this so it opens up that muscle, makes that wider, so food can just kind of freely flow, flow from the stomach and into there a little bit easier. And again, some folks that doesn't work, some folks it does. It's something to help you, but you still have to control your diabetes. You still have to control what you eat. You still have to watch everything.